Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to 10103, and its sequel, 10103 Null Kelvin, which are both horror games where you must contain an SCP like containment breach. The first game has been out for a while, and the sequel just released, and since I haven't played the original, I'm going to be playing both games and putting them in one video. So arrows move left and right, straight forward. Literally, we can only go one direction, straight forward. What's up? Over. We did some decent, um, sound design for a simple game. Just having time to report unusual finds or events. Yeah, we got a dead body. Well, look, it's a dead body. This game actually uses actual, uh, police codes too, by the way. They advertise that specifically. Don't see anything here. Wait, I saw something. Can we report that? One radiations. Immediate gene therapy is mandatory after exposure to type alpha, beta, and gamma entities. They left a flare here. Always wash your hands after interacting with type Omicron entities. You even want any of that Omicron on you. Huh. Someone left the radio. We got blood here. Down. Already on it. Fully expunged. Here's something. We got a lot of them. Amnesia therapy. <laughs> That's useful, ain't it? Floor six. And we 
was dead. Listen to the radio. Maybe should be don't listen to the radio. Run away from the static. Run. Ah, they got me. You keep moving. We're going deeper. Things are going to hell. That's status. This shit. Never do. Made a powerful electromagnetic field. Do not use electronic devices near either containment chambers. I should probably not use my uh, transponder. I should probably keep moving. Yeah, you have to keep moving forward a little bit. As soon as that thing catches up, we're dead. Four nine. If a piece of furniture talks to you, probably this type of half entity trying to prank you. It's right behind us. Please die. That'd be swell. Because it's right behind me. It's literally right behind me. Look at the lights. Going down. Your items. You have more items to remember? Black. Shapes of small objects. Just need to keep moving and keep shooting. Well, let's see the other direction. I'm not gonna make it. I get can I run past you? No. No, it's, it cut me off at the pass. It was in the other direction. Yeah, see, it cuts you off. It chases you down there, but then it's coming from the other direction after that. Now I can't tell how close it is, because I don't have the flashing lights to warn me. Join us! No, I'm not going to Disney World. It's already here.
You need to keep moving. Oh, crap. Back it up, we're getting paid. Let's leave and hope there's no twist. Congratulations, you finished the game. Alright, so we'll head on into the sequel then. That's pretty good, surprisingly, for a fairly simple game. Atmospherically, at least. Game mechanically, you just walk down the hallway. So this would be the sequel, and premise-wise, it's almost the exact same thing, but in a different location and a different event. Also, there's a bun. Bun. Get out of your bun. I still don't pay you enough for this. All I did was add an extra cupcake to our rations. <laughs> That's our increased prey and promotion. Alright. Same thing pretty much, except our gun is now suppressed. And we can run. Sweet. Man, this place. I'm a little bit worried what crashed here. Or what's been released. Emergency escape pod. Let's go in. Well, this could be rough. Keep dead tissues away from specimen. That doesn't sound good. So they compromised. Do 
Everything specimen will result in class zero termination. You guys had a whole thing in here. Keep specimen temperature over 80 Celsius at all times. Diet of Drim alloy only. Pet planet? Do not cause unnecessary disasters. Well, this looks just a dead end. Let's go the other direction. There. Okay. So now we hit that. Um. So we get to look at these, which is cool. Classified. That's not good. That's about the pet planet. Well, pet planet's still here. You are invulnerable while ruling. Interesting. So they actually expand the combat quite a bit. And there's even loading now. Should be at least two more. As they give you, they help you think more clearly, right? That's no good. Oh, the forbidden soda. I must drink it. It's forbidden. It becomes whatever you want it to be. I didn't think I was close to it as I thought it was. These guys aren't too bad. These can't be like the funnel threads, can they? Hmm. Ultimate. Get ambushed just as we go down the hill. I don't like that. They didn't talk about the second facility. They wouldn't give us intel on it. It's condemned for a reason. Purge order. Thanks. Well, we can have light. Spot it again. Went inside. Not making my job easy, are you?
Hold on. This is just going to go swell. <sighs> this is kind of like the first game where we do in the elevators constantly. But now we're being attacked in the elevator because things are going horrible. Yep. We're going to die. Don't like how some of these things look like they still work. I'm sure you see corpses, that doesn't mean much. Always handle shapeshifters with care. Hmm. If I could. Here is C4. The damn vents. Yeah, just enough ammo. <laughs> Told you. See, everything's dead. It's not a good thing. Feeling ill? Stop being my life force. Power the sector's foo bar. Rewire generator to use elevator. Yeah, that's not good. It is sucking up that heat. I think I'm going to engage. Hmm. But I have to hit the generator. So I can't just ignore it. As soon as I flip this thing, it's going to be upset. The heat's going to be gone. Here we go.
easier said than done. I think we should go. God, it's some kind of weird, tall, lanky thing. Yeah, we're not killing it. We're just going. It's literally darkness made manifest. I got a pipe. That's not allowed. Shield. It's pulling out his damn body. Oh great, here we go. Shooting it doesn't do much, but I just like shooting it anyway, it's so slightly annoys it. And if that's annoying thing is half the battle. Are we not allowed to engage with the succubus girl? No. Good. Let's go. Oh, no, I got grabbed. I can't break out of, uh, you can't cancel out reloading. I made that terrible mistake. Thought you could. Okay. Took a hit right there. Got the deal. Shield guys are coming in pain. Let's see if I can just use the elevator and get out of here. I can. We're out. It's getting too hot. Password? 1111. Huh.
I don't think it likes cold. I'll take that. Give some distance. Come on, light her up. Not far, too close. This was Bidu. Well, there's more than one. I mean, I can't throw down this. Best case scenario, I might take out some of the necrotics. Whoa! One right there. I hit it. We got a good hit in. For another flare out. Ah! This is gonna be easier. It's gonna be harder to evacuate this than you think. Thanks. So you lowered the timer right there. No, no, Bun. Bun, look out. Oh, no, Bun's just watching. Yet. Walk myself. And thank you, the player. So that's it for the 10103 series, at least the, the first two games this developer has made in them. They're simple games, but they're actually not that bad. They have a good, um, they have a good kind of like atmospheric set going for what they are. Like they have decent sound design. They have legitimate frets are kind of interesting. And the second game is an improvement over the first, obviously, for 
there's a lot more options and it had an actual boss fight to it uh that had a little bit of dynamics going not much but a little bit more than the the first one did and we also have a bun. There, there, there's a bunny that was added to the game. So that automatically improves things. We increase the, the bun ratio. Anyway. So thank you all for watching me play the 10103 series. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.